Hey YouTube fam, how you doing? Today I wanted to share with you how I was able to build my big biceps as a lifetime natural bodybuilder and I want to help you grow your biceps and build those nice peaks. Now as a natural bodybuilder it's really hard to develop um, your arms uh, especially when you're just starting off. Um, some people have really good genetics and other people don't really have the best arm genetics. Um, I'm the type of person who doesn't have the best arm genetics. I've got pretty good chest genetics and back genetics, uh, but my arms have never really grown that much, so I really wanted to build those big peak arms. And I researched so much stuff out there just to try to uh, find out what works and what doesn't, and I went through a lot of trial and error. And I think trial and error is usually the best way to, to learn for yourself, to find out what works for you, because what works for someone else might not necessarily work for you. So it's, it's really important to find out what works for you. And what has worked for me, uh, I'm going to share exactly what it is with you in just a second. Alright guys, now I want to share with you the biggest problems that I see at the gym every single day uh, that are stopping people from getting well-developed biceps. Now I see these things every single day. I see people doing these kind of things when they train biceps. And I'm sure you've seen these kind of people. They're just swinging and jerking, not even focusing on the muscle. Well, that's pretty good for developing strength, um, but you're not really focusing on the biceps. You're not really building that mind-to-muscle connection. Uh, and in my book, uh, it's all about building that mind-to-muscle connection with your biceps to make them actually peak. Okay, so if you don't have that connection there, you're never really truly going to build those big biceps or even get decent biceps uh, for that um, case. So the way you're going to develop that mind to muscle connection is by doing really slow controlled movements, uh, which I'm a big fan of, um, such as bicep curls with really strict controlled form, where you're going up nice and fast and then controlling the movement nice and slow. Okay, no swinging, no jerking. It's not about weight, guys. It's all about the control and building that uh, mind to muscle connection. Okay, so especially when you twist your wrist uh, outwards, that's gonna, if you can notice, that's, that's actually gonna uh, emphasize on your peak a lot more than just doing a straight wrist. Okay, so doing things like preacher curls where you're resting your elbow on a bench. Okay, that's the best way to build that peak, in my opinion. That's worked. Uh, extremely well for me. You're resting your elbow on a bench and you got you, you can go really light with that one but just really focus on the form and that stretch at the bottom okay so twist your wrist outwards okay focus on that peak of the bicep okay pause there for, for a second or two get a nice contraction get as much blood flow in your bicep as possible and then on, on the way down really control the movement okay flex your forearm really hard okay and a stretch focus on that nice long stretch for at least three seconds on the way down guys and you want to go down pretty much all the way down but you don't want to lock your arm as well because your arm will be resting at the bottom so you want to stop just short of lock out and then from there go up nice and fast twist your elbow I'm um, sorry your wrist and then flex that bicep again all right guys so this is the best way that's worked for me to get my peak biceps and to really shape them up properly. Alright guys, thanks very much for watching this video. If you found it helpful and if you learned something from it, please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel for more great videos. I'll be releasing new videos every few days for you. Uh, all natural bodybuilding videos to help you guys out to make some gains. Um, so like, subscribe, thank you very much for watching. If you have any comments, uh, suggestions, please leave them down below and I'll make sure to get to each and every one of you. Stay natural.